first I'm going to inflate the yellow clear balloon, uh, leaving a 9 inch flat tail to make the caterpillar. We are going to make a chain of 6 tulip twists. Twist the first soft a half an inch bubble. For the first bubble, 1 inch inside of the balloon. I'm using clear color balloon uh, to make it easy for you to see what I'm actually doing. Hold the first bubble inside of the balloon. Lock the first bubble inside of the balloon by twisting the second soft I have an inch bubble. You made the tulip twist. The first bubble has two layers and it's inside of the balloon. For the second bubble, one inch inside of the balloon. Hold the second bubble inside of the balloon. Lock the second bubble inside of the balloon by twisting the third soft half an inch bubble. Now we have two bubbles inside of the balloon. Both of them have two layers. Force the third bubble one inch inside of the balloon. Hold the third bubble inside of the balloon. Lock the third bubble inside of the balloon by twisting the fourth soft half an inch bubble. Now we have chain of three bubbles inside of the balloon. Force the fourth bubble one inch inside of the balloon. Making tulips requires some practice. Uh, so don't uh, get uh, disappointed if you cannot get it right away. Just keep practicing. Hold the fourth bubble inside of the balloon. Lock the fourth bubble inside of the balloon by twisting the fifth soft half an inch bubble. Our next step uh, could vary uh, depending on uh, what sculpture we uh, want to make. Right now we have uh, a chain of five bubbles and we're going to make one balloon simple caterpillar. Force the fifth bubble three inch inside of the balloon. Hold the fifth bubble inside of the balloon. Lock the fifth bubble inside of the balloon by twisting the sixth uh, three inch bubble. Force the fifth bubble slightly inside of the sixth bubble to secure the lock. The rest of the balloon is the seventh bubble. Use scissors to cut a little hole at the end of the balloon. We are going to deflate the seventh bubble. The chain of the first five bubbles uh, stays inside of the balloon. Only the sixth bubble stays outside of the balloon. The chain of first five bubbles represents the body of the caterpillar. And the sixth bubble represents the head. You have to twist uh, the body bubbles to force the air out of the seventh bubble. Start twisting bubbles in order from fifth bubble to the first bubble. Hold all bubbles that you already twisted uh, to prevent the leak of the air back into the seventh bubble. Each of the first five bubbles uh, has three layers uh, that make them virtually indestructible. Use a permanent marker to draw the face. This sculpture also may be used as um, a squishy toy or a handle for a sword or a mug. Congratulations! Uh, you have made a simple one balloon caterpillar. The caterpillar looks better with antennas. Inflate the second red balloon 
this two inch bubble to make uh, antennas. Split the red bubble on two parts to make two bubbles. Then for the second red bubble to the opposite end of the balloon. You have to hold the red balloon tight between bubbles to prevent the leak of the air between bubbles. Once you force uh, both bubbles uh, into opposite ends of the balloon, you can uh, tie a knot in the middle of the balloon to prevent the leak of the air between bubbles. Make sure both bubbles of the same size before you tie the knot. Well, we have made the antennas. Now we have to make new caterpillar body. I have already prepared the body in advance. It has uh, a chain of four bubbles inside of the balloon. And the fifth bubble is outside of the balloon. Hold the knot in the, oops, uh, in the middle of the red balloon uh, next to the fifth yellow bubble. Force the red knot and the fifth yellow bubble three inches inside of the yellow balloon. Hold the fifth yellow bubble and the red knot inside of the yellow balloon. Lock the red balloon and the fifth yellow bubble inside of the yellow balloon by twisting the sixth soft uh, three inch yellow bubble. Force the fifth uh, yellow bubble slightly back inside of the sixth yellow bubble to secure the lock. The rest of the yellow balloon is the seventh bubble. Now we are going to repeat the same steps as we did uh, with the first caterpillar. Use scissors to cut a little hole uh, at the end of the yellow balloon uh, to deflate the seventh bubble. Force uh, the air from the yellow seventh bubble. First we twist the fifth yellow bubble, then the fourth yellow bubble, then the third yellow bubble. And uh, the last one is the second yellow bubble that we twist. Uh, remember to hold uh, all bubbles that we already twisted to prevent uh, the air going back into the seventh bubble. Okay, that's a caterpillar with antennas. Now we can attach uh, wings to the caterpillar body to make a butterfly. Inflate a blue balloon leaving a 2 inch flat tail to make the wings. We are going to make two pair of wings. Find one third of the balloon. At this point we twist the first about 11 inch bubble. Hold the balloon, measure the size and twist the second bubble. It should be the same size as the first bubble and uh, lock both ends of the chain of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. Push the knot of the balloon between the first and second bubble to secure the lock. Lock both ends of the first blue bubble in one lock twist. At the same time, you lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. Twist the third soft uh, three inch bubble. We are going to Split the rest of the blue balloon on two soft uh, bubbles of the same size uh, to make the second pair of wings. Twist the four soft about six inch bubble. And the rest of the balloon is the fifth soft bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Lock both ends of the fourth bubble in one lock twist. At the same time, you lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. We have made two pairs of butterfly wings. Now we are going to attach the butterfly's wings to the caterpillar body. 
we can lock the first pair of wings between the head and the body uh, bubbles or we can uh, force the first pair of blue bubbles between the fifth and the fourth yellow bubble and the last uh, two blue bubbles we will force between the third and the second yellow bubble Now we have to lock both ends of the third blue bubble. At the same time, we will lock both ends of the chain of two, the third and the fourth uh, yellow bubbles in one lock twist. The third and the fourth yellow bubbles represent uh, legs. Let's fix uh, all bubbles in their proper positions. We can rearrange uh, wings in different order. I think that's good enough. Here's the top view, uh, the side view, the bottom view. You may see two legs. Here's the front view. Top view, front view. Now we can use the permanent marker to draw the face. We have made the butterfly. Let's take a look again. Here's the top view, uh, the side view, the bottom view. That is the front view. Let's see the evolution of uh, our butterfly. First we made the simple caterpillar. Then we made a caterpillar with uh, antennas. And then we attach wings to the caterpillar to make the butterfly. 